Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up WordPress with SiteGround hosting. Now, SiteGround recently introduced a brand new interface and they drop C panel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up WordPress with SiteGround. And if you're using companies like HostGator, there's a, there's a discount for SiteGround in the description below. Leave HostGator, uh, check out SiteGround. They are way faster. In fact, I have a video to prove it in the description below as well. So once you first go ahead and you pay and you actually purchase your hosting plan, you'll be brought to a page that looks just like like this. Now, I hope they don't change this recently, but uh, you'll be brought to a page that looks just like this right here. And you just click on set up sites. Now, this is a screenshot from another tutorial that I just made about a drop shipping t-shirt business. That is also in the description below. No startup costs, free, it's free to start up. It's, it's pretty incredible. So I'm gonna go to my, uh, my, my, my demo account right here. And uh, you're gonna click on set up. And right here, I'm gonna go to the new websites. So I'm gonna go over here to new website right here. All right, now I'm just gonna use a temporary domain, but you'll be brought to a different screen. It'll basically look something like this right here. So it'll look something like this right here. So you go to setup and it'll say, start up a new website or migrate a website. So you're just going to click on start a new website. And personally, I'm also gonna talk about my personal feelings about their entire interface and what I think about it. Um, there are a lot of people talking about it and I'm gonna to talk to you about what I think that, you know, my personal opinion about it, et cetera. So once you're here, you'll click on WordPress. And then right here, you'll go ahead and put in your credentials and then you'll click on continue. So right here, just click on continue. Now it will take some time to actually set up your website. It takes like a minute. Now right here, this is an upsell. So they're they're basically saying, hey, do you wanna add a Cycron site scanner? They're trying to make more money. You know, you can say, sure, take my money or don't take my money, whatever you wanna do. But I'm not gonna add it right now. So right here, I will just click on finish. And right now it is creating my website. Now it's gonna take around two minutes to make this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video really quickly while this is going. All right, so my site has finished being created. And right now I have three options. I can either visit the websites, I can access the WordPress admin, or I can go to site tools. But right here, I'll click on login with admin. And there's my site. Now you're gonna be brought to a screen that looks just like this right here, where it's going to say, uh, hey, welcome to your WordPress website. Uh, you can go ahead and go through the process of with their setup wizard. But personally, I just think um, I don't need to, I don't want to, and I'll just click on exit and it'll just take me to the back end right here. Now this is all done with a plugin that Cycron has introduced. If you don't like this interface right here and you want the default one that comes with WordPress, um, right here under plugins, under installed plugins, You'll just go ahead and deactivate this WordPress starter. Personally, I like the idea of what they're doing with the plugin, but I don't like it because it's just not the default WordPress and I want the default WordPress. So I'm just gonna deactivate it. And once you deactivate it, you go to your dashboard again and it'll look just like this right here. So this is basically the default one. So that's basically how you install WordPress with SiteGround. Um, it's, it's pretty simple, not really difficult at all. What do I think about it? now? I think that this was a great move by SiteGround because there was a big thing that recently happened with cPanel and cPanel was always dated. I really felt that, uh, I really was hoping SiteGround would move away from cPanel, even go to Softaculous or something like that, another another provider for like the, the app installer and all that stuff because cPanel was so old and it was just so ugly and I hated it. And I kind of felt embarrassed sometimes to bring people to SiteGround because the cPanel was just so dated and ugly, but now we have this this interface right here where it's just like, you know, log into your website, WordPress kit. It's, it's a much more user-friendly, simpler interface, and it's very fast because uh, HostGator actually recently tried this, but their interface is the worst interface. I mean, it loads so slow, and I, I told the guys at HostGator, I was like, bro, why does this, it takes me like 10 minutes to load your site. And they're like, oh, did you refresh your cache? I'm like, no, 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 no. My cache is fine. It's your site, because even my SEO guy said the same thing. But um, I do really like this interface. Um, I think it's really, really simple. Um, you know, you can always go ahead and explore everything, like clicking on site tools. You can go to the WordPress kit, you know, just go ahead and check things out. Uh, this right here, the site kit is like their basic, like their technical settings. And again, I do really feel that this is just super easy, you know, like right here, you know, WordPress domain and everything else right here, such as redirects, you can set up your DNS, your DNS settings as well. You can also go ahead and um, right here, you can actually delete and you can always start it again, etc. Here, you can always go ahead and click on this login to admin panel and this will basically log you on the, the back end of WordPress. Um, so I really feel that this interface is just super easy. Um, you know, before, uh, with cPanel, everything was very hard to find. You know, it was really old fashioned. And I do like the fact that they move away from cPanel. And in case you're wondering why they moved away from cPanel, and that's because they recently, like, I think they, like they, they 10 times their price or something like that. So 
what I think what happened with cPanel is the fact that they thought that they owned a large market share and they felt that even if we change our price, people are going to stay with us. And companies like Rubbermaid, I don't know if you guys know the, the history of Walmart and Rubbermaid, um, big companies in the United States um, did the same thing. Rubbermaid left Walmart because they said, hey, we're so big, we don't need you guys. And Rubbermaid almost went bankrupt. You know, So we could see that same thing happen to um, a cPanel. Maybe people are going and leaving their stuff right now saying, hey, you know what? We don't really like you. You know, We're going to go ahead and do our own thing. And then cPanel might be in some trouble. We don't know. But regardless of what they did, I love this interface. I think it's really super easy. Just by looking at these things, you can just go ahead and click on these. You don't need to be a genius. They've really made it really, really simple. The only thing I will critique here is that when you go to the website right here, first off, this is at the bottom right here. They should probably put this at the top, right? I mean, I have to go down here. And then to access the website, I have to click on this login to admin panel, and that basically lets me log into the website. But still, it's not a bad interface. I really love it. So again, uh, that's how you install WordPress with SiteGround. So if you have any other questions for me, if you want to know anything else, I will be having a Brizzy Cloud tutorial on how to set up name servers with SiteGround uh, maybe next week. Maybe next week. I've just been doing a lot of other videos. So um, yeah, if you have any questions for me, leave me in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next video.